Hello, Gregor. How are you today? Hi, Casimir. I'm fine, thanks. Uh, back in Stockholm. Yeah, and I'm also traveling outside London. So it's a hotel room again for both of us. Yes, it is. Uh, one of the smallest hotel rooms I've ever stayed in. We have been talking a lot and trying a lot to do remote video interviews. We are now found several ways to do it and it's very dependent on what equipment you have available and other things. Should we start to tell the listeners what we are using for things? Mm, okay, so um, today Casimir, I am using, uh, you can see here behind me, um, there, you can see I have a um, uh, phone, it's a Sony Xperia Z3 Compact. On the right, can you see it? Yes. I have my other phone. It's a Sony Xperia V. Uh, both of them are recording uh, with the built-in uh, software uh, and um, uh, recording at full HD. I used manual setting to put them to the same white balance mode. And then uh, I'm using the computer. It's a Lenovo T440p, and I'm using the built-in camera. And I'm using a brand new um, headset uh, that I bought today from Philips. Precision Sound SHE9105. So that's my setup. And we are using Skype. And the reason for using Skype is that it works on most every platform available. It's free and it's reliable and good sound quality. So, uh, yes, uh, in, indeed, um, Casimir, uh, the whole point of doing these remote interviews is so that we can get uh, more people on Architecture Corner, uh, more people, more topics and, uh, well, more interesting things to talk about. The equipment you have, no, you have two phones, but it's possible to make an interview with just one phone, the webcam in your computer and a separate microphone. So little that we will see when we have cut this to a film a little bit later. Yeah, so um, the simplest way is just to use the built-in camera, uh, but honestly, it's, it's not a very good camera. The headset, of course, is absolutely essential uh, to get good sound quality. And we use the um, auxiliary cameras uh, to get better uh, possibilities of cutting. And, and of course, the online video is uh, sometimes uh, a bit erratic, while the local video um, uh, has higher quality. It's a way to make a video without breaking the bank. Definitely. So. Yeah. Um, uh, not using, uh, we, we're, I'm just using, except the headset, I'm just using ordinary equipment off the shelf, well, from my pocket. I also spent about uh, 30 euros on, um, uh, what do you call it, tripods. I have a big tripod for one of the phones and a small tripod for the other one. So it's uh, equipment that is, you can you can buy it without putting up a lot of money on the table. Yes, I, I think uh, most people can afford it. And, uh, many people probably already have a tripod, and then you just need an app adapter to put a smartphone on it. Casimir, yeah. uh, uh, what equipment are you using today? In the back, uh, to my left side, I have a uh, uh, two-year-old iPhone, and on a small tripod, so that is recording. And on the table, I have a video camera, that's a regular Sony video camera. The benefit with that is that it's more sensitive to a light than a small, smaller camera. And then I had a headset and I'm using the built-in webcam in uh, the laptop. What do you have for laptop? It's a MacBook. It's a little bit better quality on that camera than on the Lenovo. I use both computers for different purposes and different occasions, so it should be able to do the same recording with a more simple web camera. And for sound recording, I also have 
a separate recorder and a professional microphone. It's the same setup as we have been using this fall for the architecture corner recordings. So a little bit to show the differences between if you use more professional equipment or if you use a little bit cheaper equipment. And that will be very interesting to see uh, the differences in real test here. Yeah, I, I think that you know we, we, we know what we have on our end when we do remote interviews, but we have no idea and no control over what you could have at the other end when we do the remote interview. So uh, as long as we can keep uh, some form of minimum standard, I think we can still do a great show. Yeah. yeah I have to mention one thing, hasn't it? I, I actually spent four euros on replacing the microphone. Uh, in the hotel with uh, strong microphones. Uh, and uh, now we have an uh, example of when the Wi Fi connection drops because your sound uh, get really bad and now it disappeared. So uh, sometimes it doesn't work in direct as you think.